excuse me. Uh, hello once again YouTube, I've returned and as promised I said I was going to talk about the Ultimate Fight series. And uh, the reason I haven't done this video earlier is mostly because I was looking for free time. And you'd think I'd get a lot more now with me having my own bedroom and stuff. Yeah, that's something that's happened. As I mentioned in my last video, tons of crazy stuff, but I've got the room myself. Uh, but yeah, you'd think I'd be able to put out a lot more of these, but the thing is, my brother, like, normally, uh, well, my, he's normally in his own room now. But the thing is, I don't want to do this video in case, like, he hears me sort of talking and thinking I'm a crazy person. That's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> and another thing you'll notice is that I've got a new setup, and the thing is, um, my, uh, Nan's, um, set E got here, so now I've got that and uh, the spinning chair, which is in my brother's room. In case he has a guest server, because he's more likely to have them. Because he has friends and stuff. I, I have friends. They they just don't visit. Where are you guys? I've been waiting. Right anyway. I've rambled on for about a minute now. So what do you say we talk about the first episode of The Ultimate Fighter? And as always, when... Well, almost always. For, the long, for a very, very long time at least. Whenever The Ultimate Fighter kicks off, it's the introduction. Uh... Pretty much like, you know, which fighter is going to be on, uh, it's eliminating the, it's eliminating some of them. Well, not elimin eliminating half of them mostly. <coughs> Pardon me. And there's about 16 points I believe there are, so, uh, let's, let's read them before we do. In fact, there's two things I want to do. The first thing is, point out that there is kind of theme of the season, as it's Team, as it's team Europe. Being led by Irish fighter Con McGregor against Team USA, being led by American fighter, obviously with it being Team USA, uh, Euro Faber, and uh, that's pretty much kind of like kind of the thing uh, in the series. I think it's the first series to do it, to do a nation versus nation series since uh, no, they did the Smashers season, which was Australia versus England, I think. Yeah. But before Australia vs England, it was the USA vs the UK in Season 9. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to another milestone I achieved on my top 10 death battle suggestions, which got over 145 views last time I checked. So I want to say thank you all for that. So now one of my two videos to have hit more than three digits. Well, to have hit three digits, but... Uh, sorry, I heard, I heard something. Eh, uh, just ignore that. Anyway, let's go on to the fights for uh, Europe versus the USA. So first off, we have USA fight where Ryan Hall defeated Johnny Nunez for a submission in the first round. And uh, he was one of the ones I wasn't expecting to be as good as he was, but we'll talk about that in the next episode. Uh, Europe, David Taylor beat Tibor Guti by Yanis Decision. USA, Tan Lee beat Andres Quintana by Knockout. Uh, Europe, I'll just say, like, uh, who? Shit. I think I'll save time for Dancing Nationality, so I'll just leave that. Mehdi Bagdad beat Artem Roba by Majority Decision. Julian Arasa beat Jason Suarez by Unanimous Decision. Saul Rogers beat Paul Abur by Submission. Billy Quarantillo beat Brandon Ricchetti by TKO. Franz Slower. Uh, beat Martin Delaney by submission. Jason Gonzalez beat Team Walsh by TKO. Abner Rivera beat Vlado Sikic. I have no idea if I'm saying that uh, name, I'm sorry. Uh, by uh, verbal submission, shoulder injury, which pretty much means like he suffered a really bad injury and he couldn't carry on, which I've seen tons of times in the USA itself. It's a very nasty thing. Uh, Abner Rivera beat Vlad. Oh, <laughs> I just read that one. S silly me. Uh, Tom Galicio beat Mike Flat by submission. Martin Svensson beat Mohamed Gabinski by United Decision. Martin Vrusek beat Demir Chan by submission. Sasha Schwarmer beat Sean Carter by decision. Chris Grudsmacher beat Austin Springer by TKO. And James Jenkins beat Brandon Seven in United, by United Decision. Uh, one thing I notice is I'm not seeing the times for the wins, which is because they're not on there. And as a result, I also don't see the point in saying, in saying like what round they won it in. I will say this, uh, as, as a general rule in the Ultimate Fighter, there's usually just two rounds per fight. If the judges declare a draw at the end of the second round, we'll go to the third one, and it's usually decided after that, unless it's finished in that third round itself. So anyway, uh, we're going to talk about 
uh, pretty much like the teams themselves. And my, my personal picks for each side, so let's go for a team at Greg first. We've got a really good looking team. Uh, one guy who I think who's doing so well so far is Saul Rogers, who is from England. And he's the only English guy there. I think I think he beat the other English guy. The, the other English guy was there. Hang on, just a sec here. Uh, just give me a second, folks. No, he did not. He did not beat the other English guy. All right, my bad. But yeah, so Rogers, uh, he looked really good as opening fight, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's my main pick for the Europe team, besides Martin Washek. He looks, he looks great. I, I like, I like his style. He's a very aggressive fighter. Very nice guy as well. For the United States, my top two for them are uh, Chris Grismacher. And Tan Lee, who has got such a very like unpredictable and wild striking style, which is a style I like uh, seeing, especially since he's one of the younger guys on the United States. I think he's the the youngest actually. And uh, one other thing, usually as a rule with stuff like this, they have eight fighters per team, so there's 16 fighters in total, eight per team, eight per team in the United States. However, there was a mild stipulation allowed where both sides could bring back a fighter that lost in the prelims that they thought should have won. So McGregor brought back Artem Lobov, who was also from Ireland. Well, not naturally from Ireland, I think he... Yeah, I think he's from Russia, but then he emigrated to Ireland. I think it's something like that. And the United States brought back Johnny Nunes. And uh, it was an interesting move from McGregor, considering that Lobov really didn't do that well, but it's mostly because they're friends. So, uh, that's uh, two more quick things. Dana White reminds the that the winning fighter and coach will get a Harley Davidson motorcycle. As always, at the end of all fight, there's really cool fights. It's usually a Harley Davidson. So, that, that'd be cool, to be honest. If I, if I could fight and go in there, I'd totally do it for a bike. I'd probably never use it, but it'd be cool to look at. And, and uh, finally, we obviously kick off with a uh, coin toss at the end of the first episode. And Team Favor 1, and has control of fight selection, which I will get to in the next uh, video. Whenever that is. It's usually whenever I have free time. I don't have a set schedule for my stuff. But it's whenever I have free time. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I've like ranted on this more than I've ever ranted in any kind of... It's not really a rant if I'm not angry, because I'm not angry. Uh... R rambling. I meant to say rambling, but I used the word ranting instead because I am a silly sausage. Uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video, and so does uh, Hero. He's kind of good up there. I don't even think he knows his camera. I think his eyes might be a little open. But, uh. No? Okay. I tried, I tried making the noise that usually gets his attention, but it didn't work. <laughs> but he's still adorable. Anyway. That's pretty much it now. Uh, if you've made it this far, I envy you. And once again, thank you to the 145. I think it might have increased since then. Only very, very, very slightly. Thank you to those people who got me to more than 100 views on my Death Belt Suggestions video. If you would like to see more uh, top 10 stuff, then maybe you will. I don't think you will. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I'm mostly enjoying doing these for the time being. And uh, I forgot to ask this at the end of my last video. I think I did. I don't remember. It's been a while. My my brain's going blank. <laughs> Just bear with me, please. Um, if you have any questions, then please leave them, because I would love to do another Q&A soon. I've done like four, maybe, in total. And they're all a lot of fun. Uh, I I just I just like doing them, and I'd love to do more. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, then click a button that looks very very similar to that uh, under in around the description bar area as it were and uh, I hope you're enjoying my somewhat belated coverage of the Ultimate Fighters 22nd season wow it's hard to believe it's going for more than 10 years now blew my neck anyway uh, that's enough from me and enough of my rambling and I hope you all enjoyed it and take care